Oh my word, Taylor made you have made one big mistake with these irons, and I am not even joking, you have made one huge error. Now recently I filmed a video that uh, was titled The End of Long Irons. Now maybe a bit dramatic, but the basic principle of the video was this. There are so many options down that uh, long end of the bag between 21 and maybe 26 degrees that long irons are no longer becoming my preferred option of choice. But in that video, many people commented that, uh, well, they don't want to play hybrids, they don't want to play high lofted fairway woods. They still prefer playing long irons and that's something, well, okay, I understand, but I still believe there's an easier way of playing long irons and uh, not having to suffer the consequences of not having the help that's out there. You see, recently I reviewed, uh, well, two lines of product from TaylorMade and they were the DHY and the UDI, Ultimate Driving Iron, Driving Hybrid. And I was very keen on them, but I've always associated both those products as, well, I would call them driving irons, so low lofted, maybe two, three irons. And what I was really interested to see was, in particular from the DHY, was the option of going into sort of four and five iron. And that got me thinking, is this the way forward in terms of playing long irons? Can I get a birdie on the first? No, because that was an atrocious weak putt hand. So in today's video, I'm gonna do a comparison between my four and five iron that I have currently in my bag and I'm going to pitch them up against a four and five iron in the DHY. So why would I do that? Well, quite simply because I think there is going to be a change in the way iron sets are being made up in the future. And I think this is possibly the way that's going to take place. Let me explain. And of course, I'll also explain what that huge mistake is by uh, Taylor Made. And uh, trust me, it's a big mistake. Earlier on today, I went in and collected some dry ball data here at Hollywell Golf Club and tracked my numbers that are incredibly interesting. The tail between these two clubs, as in my regular 4 and 5 iron and a 4 and 5 DHY, is quite significant reading. Right, so in recent years we've seen changes in the way manufacturers are offering you your iron sets and that's largely been the opportunity to blend sets and that's basically been looking at more refined irons down the shorter end of the bag and maybe getting a little bit more bulk and help down that sort of uh, the, the, uh, the, the more difficult end of the bag I would describe it as and that makes total sense. So my thought process when I seen these four and five iron UD, uh, DHYs was that you know what why would I not be putting these in my bag as four and five iron replacements because the lofts are almost exactly the same. You'll see from dry ball data what they do in terms of performance is incredibly impressive. They look really good as well, which is a really other key element because effectively, this is a super game improvement iron. That's all it is, but it's packaged extremely well. It does the job incredibly well. And the idea of replacing my four and five iron to this kind of thing makes perfect sense when you see what I'm about to show you. Now what's also really interesting to me is that uh, because this is called a driving hybrid, it is in fact considered to be a better player's club. Whereas uh, I've already explained in terms of the way it looks, in terms of the bulk, it's a super game improvement iron. Isn't it weird how the uh, mentality of a golfer will work? You see, the more videos I make, the more products I test, the more I realize that, uh, well, for many years I've made this game, uh, well, just probably as difficult as it can possibly be. And uh, there are without doubt some options out there that make it that little bit easier. Hence the reason why I cannot put this ping chipper down right now, because everything I hit seems to end up not too far away from the hole. And it's a very similar story with these long irons in my opinion. Yeah, let's just confirm when I say a uh, similar story, I don't mean they finish that far from the hole. What I mean is they make the game a little bit easier. But for all the positivity I am showing towards these DHY uh, driving hybrids from TaylorMade, I can't help but think they're making a huge mistake. Okay, so one of the main reasons people would choose to play an iron over a hybrid or a fairway wood equivalent is largely because they prefer the way an iron looks at a dress. 
and still compromises have got to be made if you're going to switch into a DHY option in that longer end of the bag because as you can see there's still plenty of bulk plenty of thick top line and a little bit of bulbous back that you'll see as well so they're not an ideal replacement on a looks perspective but the question you've got to ask yourself is would I prefer to forego a little bit of the uh, refined look of my traditional five line iron for the help that I'm getting in the DHY so there's a little bit of a compromise you've still got to make on the looks department now I can continue to show you uh, some great ball flight shot tracers and uh, yes it looks fantastic and I can tell you how good these clubs are but in this video I think we need some data to really tell the tale of uh, what is going on here and quite simply that is that the four and five iron in the DHY far outperform that of my regular irons and I think they would for you as well point to mention first of all before I look at this data and it's really interesting so don't go anywhere is that uh, the loft on both of these irons is two degrees weaker on the DHY than on my regular irons and that's important for what I'm about to show you because as you can see both of the DHY produced a longer carry they also produced a higher launch the spin number was incredibly uh, well impressive to say the least and the overall performance was really really good now the fact that they were longer that doesn't really bother me but there is one other key element that tells a massive tale and that is the fact that every time I have done reviews in recent years I've always told people to be very careful about buying their iron set from pitch and wedge through to four iron because often at the longer end of the bag the six five and four you don't start to see the gap in 10 12 yard gaps that you'd like to perhaps see because we don't produce club head speed in particular in the four iron to see the gap that we need to justify putting it in the bag and if you look at my four and five iron numbers that rings true yet again but look what happens with the DHY we have now got a considerable difference between two clubs in the bag which makes a whole lot of difference when you consider putting them in now one last thing to say is that these are longer and arguably I'd have too much of a gap between my uh, six iron into that five DHY so what it looks like is that I would end up with six iron, five iron, and then the five DHY because that's covering the distance that my four iron would have naturally looked to cover that next gap in the bag. So as ever with this, it's very much important that you go and get custom fit and that you work out your yardages and see exactly where these clubs fit in the bag. But my overall assessment is that I said they made a huge mistake. What is that mistake? Well, what they should have done was made a full bag of these and I honestly believe that's something we'll see in the future and that is an iron from a nine iron through to that four iron in a they can't call it a driving hybrid but you're going to see a set of irons from Taylor made that are of similar makeup to what we've seen in that DHY and I think it would be a really good move from Taylor made to produce that set of irons because you can see the five iron already or the five DHY is not enough for me I need the 60 HY already to substitute for my five iron and lots of others could see those benefits right throughout the bag so big mistake Taylor made I think you should give more loft options and I think in the future you should also consider adding a full set of these into your uh, into your offering there you go you heard it here first the average golfer made that suggestion in 2022 let's see how long it is before you produce that full set right I'm done as ever thanks for watching it's ridiculously hot right here in the UK I've not pissed the best seat to finish this video off so uh, I'm gonna move see you all soon thanks for watching